or vibration base and input base. Same thing. Anyway, today I'm gonna be teaching. Input base and vibration base is the same thing. <laughs> Yo, what's up, my current Fiji beatboxers? Welcome back to another video, which is by Maddox, aka Math Culture. Today, I'm going to learn and try to improve my vibration bass together with you. We're going to watch remix tutorial, and we're also going to watch some examples like Codfish and Tuttle. I already kind of can do vibration bass, but I'm sure there's a lot of room for improvement. If you're not familiar with vibration bass at all, this video still might be useful for you. And by the way, you may ask why specifically I picked the video of Remix. Well, I think he has one of the craziest vibration basses in the beatbox scene. And even if there are some people who can explain it better than him, I still think you should follow the advice of a professional vibration baser, because at the end, it's really important to get the texture right. And therefore you should listen to beatboxes who can do properly very often to get used to the texture and then repeat it. So let's get into the video. Welcome back guys to another remix beatbox video today. I'll be teaching loud. you guys how to do vibration bass. <laughs> I'm kind of there already, but his, his texture is so different. And a lot of you know that I spam the sound in literally everything that I do. There's probably, I can't think of a beat that I do that doesn't involve inward bass or vibration bass and inward bass. Same thing. Anyway, today I'm going to be teaching. Inward bass and vibration bass is the same thing? I doubt it. <laughs> Anyways, let's keep going. Teaching you guys how to do it, and a lot of you have messaged me asking. I wanted to get rid of the old tutorial. Uh, the reason I did is mainly just because it didn't have any edits, it didn't have any good lighting or any good sound at all. So I wanted to remake it to give you guys the best. Wait, he didn't have any good editing, and now he has just this distortion. <laughs> it's so annoying. Anyways, let's keep going. Quality video that I possibly can. So here we are, and yeah, let's get straight into it. <laughs> So the first step, uh, basically, what you want to do is step sound one. really, 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 really constipated. <coughs> and really constipated. Okay. <coughs> yeah. If you know Jayton, he used this voice a lot. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's kind of singing with it. Uh, so the voice is kind of like the vibration starts somewhat here when I do it. And yeah, you basically put a lot of pressure, but not like the, not like with the throat bass. The throat bass is like down here, but this voice is kind of like here, and really nasal. Let's see how he explains it. And a lot of the times when people came to me after watching my first tutorial, they came to me and they're like, "Is this a tense voice?" And they went. Wow, wow, wow. It's not a throat bass at all. It's just doing your normal voice, yo, yo, and tensing your throat muscles. So, yo, 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 yeah, yo, 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 yo. So basically, when I do it, the vibration or the pressure lifts up from like uh, when I have my chest voice, ah, uh, it's kind of here, ah, uh, but then when I lift it up, uh, the pressure goes up there. Uh, and then it's really nasal. Uh, that's pretty much what you want to do. And from here, what you want to do is you just want to push it as hard as you can until you hear like a sort of break going on. So it's like. You can sort of hear like the break. It kind of a break. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It kind of feels kind of like the throat bass, uh, but up there. Kind of sounds like vibration bass, but it's not. It's just your voice kind of crackling up because of the pressure. And now from here, what you want to do is you want to keep training it. And this can really hurt your throat. I remember when I first started this, destroyed my throat. So please 
please, please, if this hurts your throat, stop. Take a break, drink tea, drink water, drink whatever you can. Drink water, good idea. Some ASMR content. Anyways, yeah, guys, always drink water every time you do something with your boys. How the heck do I close this bottle? A few moments later. Ah, okay, got it. Perfect. Voice is hydrated. Let's keep going. Do it again in 30 minutes, 10 minutes. Depends on how long you feel you can take a break for and get back in. But yeah, so you wanna push it as hard as you can. And then from here, all you wanna do is just add throat base. And now this transition is really hard to put the two sounds together. It took me a while, but just keep training it. You guys will get it, I promise. Uh, it took me eight months, so don't be discouraged. You'll probably get eight it Eight months. Than I did. To be honest, I'm practicing this. Maybe you remember Don't Wake the Beast. Don't Wake the Beast. <laughs> that was the first time when I got it but then i lost it again and i was never able to do it in a beat and uh and don't wake the beast i was just doing the bass without a beat and yeah as you know br was doing the beat um yeah so i'm trying to get it since a few years of course i'm not i wasn't practicing it constantly um, i kind of got yeah distracted and then i got yeah it's it's a hard sound it's a really hard sound you need to warm it up a lot uh, especially when you're not experienced with it um but yeah I really want to get it. I really want to be able to put it into routine. So let's keep going. Mainly because I kept giving up because it pissed me off. But yeah, so it's... <laughs> okay, constipated sound and then throw bass. <laughs> and now together. <laughs> well... <clears throat> By the way, quick tip for you guys, don't drink super cold water. Try to drink tea or like warm water. I, I know it feels kind of weird to drink warm water, but it actually helps for your throat. Mm. Mm. Yeah, and when I practice, especially when I try to warm it up, I start from the constipated voice mm. and then try to go down into the throat base, but still keep the constipated voice. Mm. Yeah, right now it's not really clean when I do it. To be honest, I also didn't warm it up properly today. Yeah, I'm getting there now. Yeah, okay, cool, remix. Show me how you do it. Wow 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 When he does it, it sounds different though. Like when I do it, it sounds like really uh, with a lot of pressure. His one sounds a bit more relaxed and therefore a bit fuller. So yeah, that's my biggest pain point, I would say. I can't release the pressure without losing the second vibration. <laughs> So if you have the same problem, my tip is just try to get it with pressure and then try to release the pressure without losing the vibration. As soon as you hit the sweet spot where you kind of lose it, put a little bit more pressure on top of it and then just try to get rid of the pressure more and more. <laughs> Yeah, at least that's what I try to do right now, but still not there. An easy way to activate it is go from the tensed straight into the bass. So. Yeah, he explains it the same way. And 
I also got a lot of questions of people asking me, yo, how do I make it deeper? How do, I, how do you make it sound like such a sub bass? All I do, I fill my mouth with air, I guess, and I create a little hole with my mouth. And then all you really do is you just blow out air while doing the bass. So this would be normally like, wow, 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 wow. And then if you do the technique, it's. Yeah, I think it's not lower. Um, it's just filtered like when he closes his mouth you kind of only hear like the nasal part and the nasal part has more subs than the oral part <laughs> this is so sexual yeah but his vibration base sounds so much lower damn i need to get to this level i need to get to this level <laughs> may i need to book a workshop this this remix Give workshops? Dude, you should do that, man. Could make good money with it. <laughs> I would book you. It's a really sick thing. It really, really makes your vibration bass sound like a sub bass. I use it a lot. It sounds really sick. So yeah, guys, I really hope this tutorial did help you guys out. Okay, that's it with the tutorial. Now let's check out some examples. I know that Codfish has like one routine, the Peter Pan routine. Codfish doesn't actually have it by himself online. Uh, normally, I, I don't want to support other channels who rip off the content, but... <laughs> Yeah, he doesn't have this routine online, but let's check out this video right here. A year gone, he's a missing man. They don't wanna be touched by his mystic hand. Make believe stories from desert sands. Hoping to so high, reach and be the man. Yeah, yeah, it starts. The audio quality is not the best, but basically what he does, I think, is... Yeah, kind of like that. Ah. Yeah, sometimes I get it, sometimes not. I'm still bad in like switching from the throw bass into the vibration bass, but he does it perfectly here. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this group is so good. Ah, yeah, but it's so hard. Guys, that's actually like for me and maybe also for you. Uh, it's a good way to practice new sounds. If you still don't have your own routines, just go and check other beatboxes, how they do it, you know? Because yeah, you can learn a lot from it. You can learn like how it sounds, like the texture, how it sounds, how do they combine it with drums? How do they sound combine it with melodies? And then, of course, at the end, you try to create your own routines. But for the beginning, if you learn a new sound, it's okay to copy. It's Peter Pan of dead man. Yeah, sometimes the sub comes through really well, but yeah, especially when it's at like a shorter section, it's harder to activate like the second subharmonic. So basically, vibration bass are two subharmonics. When you do a throat bass, whoa, 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 it's one subharmonic. So it's like your normal voice, your chest voice, and then one subharmonic below. Whoa, 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 whoa. And yeah, vibration bass is basically two subharmonics. I think that's the hardest part 
to synchronize the subharmonics so the vibration is clean. Yeah, if, if I have time for it, I can do it. But yeah, in the routine. I don't get it quite well. But yeah, I gotta practice this and you should also practice that if you want to learn vibration bass. Let's check out another popular example um, that is Tuttle from Germany. Ah, oh, wait, here, Tuttle's Instagram stories. Nice. Is it his channel though? Not sure. Doesn't look like it. <laughs> But for our purpose. <laughs> Yeah, he's pretty good at switching from throat bass to vibration bass. But his vibration bass is totally different than mine. I think it's also like uh, he uses way less pressure. It doesn't have so much mids then if you use less pressure. So, but then like the highs and the lows are more separated. And yeah, you get the sub frequencies clearer. <laughs> So I definitely can't do the trombone bass at the beginning. Something like that. Yeah, can't do it, but we're focusing on the vibration bass. It's so different that the way he does it. Not really sure how to get it. If you guys have some tips, if you are already more experienced in vibration bass, please let me know in the comments. You don't want to make me angry <laughs> you don't want to make me angry. Yeah, but he definitely uses a different kind of vibration bass than me. You don't, you don't, you don't want to. So I'm just trying to guess, like the source of mine is more like the this kind of throw bass. <laughs> like really nasal i think he uses more like a with this kind of raw bass and adds the subharmonic to this one I'm not quite sure how to add a subharmonic to that one I'm not sure if that's harder or it's just two different sounds at this point that's like my biggest pain point right now uh, how to get vibration bass like he has Yeah, every time I try to add a second subharmonic, I switch to... To this one. All right, guys, I hope this video helped you to learn vibration bass. I'm still intermediate in the sound. I'm still not getting the right texture, though. And I still need to practice to implement it into the beats. But I think I'm kind of there. 
Uh, I know how to add a second sub subharmonic, just need to learn how to use less pressure. Please let me know in the comments if you have any questions, maybe some other people who watch this video can answer these questions. And if you enjoyed this tutorial, please like the video, subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. And by the way, if you want to learn more sounds, here's a cool tutorial I did with Collapse. He was teaching me some signature styles of him, signature combos as well as sounds, so definitely worth to watch it. He's GBB champion, you should watch that video, definitely.